I am going to show you how I get big yet defined hair from day one on my little sister's type 3B hair. I'll be using Trader Joe's Nourish Spa Shampoo and Conditioner, Mixed Chick Sleeve-In, Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect 7, and Apogee Keratin and Green Tea Restructurizer, Chi Deep Brilliance Reflect Oil, Ion Anti-Frizz Ionic Blow Jar with Diffuser Attachment, an assortment of combs, and a pick. To begin, I'm going to shampoo her hair two times in cool water to keep the frizzing down and to gently open the hair shaft. Then I'm going to deep condition by putting a plastic cap over her head and letting it set for about 20 or 25 minutes. Now I will apply the Apogee Restructurizer for strength and added manageability. Then I'm going to apply a little bit of the Cream of Nature Perfect 7 for the added moisture benefits of argan oil and for heat protection. And then finally, I'll layer in some of the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner to give more moisture, definition, body and shine, and to protect it from heat and the outside elements in the coming days. When it comes to a style like this, you can use whatever products you know work best for your hair. What you are looking for are products that act as leave-ins, heat protectants, and add body and shine. You want to avoid using heavy oils and puddings or creams in this phase. You want to add products that will hydrate and set your hair without weighing it down. Now I am going to detangle her hair using my wide tooth shower comb. I want to ensure that all of the product is evenly distributed and build strength in the hair shaft. As I talked about in my previous tutorial that I did on my friend Alicia, detangling is like exercise for your hair. So you want to make sure that you are always thoroughly detangling your hair each time you wash. Now I am just scrunching the hair into place, trying to clump pieces of hair together so that it can set. I'm going to allow her hair to set for about 25 to 30 minutes. When I wash and go my own hair, I usually allow the product to set until my hair is more than half dry, because that's what creates the perfect definition that I get. But because I want her hair to be bigger now, I am going to cut the setting time in half so that her hair will still be mostly wet when I begin to dry. I'm going to begin by applying a little bit of chi oil through the hair so I can begin to diffuse it. I'm going to use my blow dryer on high heat, low speed. You can choose to use a lower heat setting if you prefer. Just make sure that your blow dryer is ceramic and that it has a cool shot. I'm going to lean her forward to dry so that the hair is dry against the natural grain. This is what creates lift from the root for volume. Because her hair was mostly wet when I started drying, it's going to take longer to diffuse, probably about 30 minutes total. I'm using my hand and the diffuser to finger and fluff through the hair, moving it around so that it evenly dries. I'm also making sure not to drag my fingers or the fingers of the diffuser through the strands as I don't want to create any extra frizz. After all of her hair is completely dry, I am going to use my cool shot to seal in moisture and return her hair to room temp. This prevents frizzing and damage after drying. Now I am going to apply a little bit more chi oil to seal and give moisture to the ends of the hair. You can use whatever silk oil or hydrating oil that you like to use on your hair for this part.
Now to add even more volume, I'm going to use my pick and go in at the root and stretch the hair. Type 3 hair has a tendency to dry flat and closer to the scalp. This is why I lean forward to blow dry and then using this pick is going to further lift the hair. I'm going to go through the hair and continue to fluff, but I don't want to remove all of the definition, so I'm not going to drag the pick through to the ends. Total style time for this was about one and a half hours. To preserve the style, you can either pineapple it, twist or braid sections and secure them with silk and satin scarves or a bonnet. For more information, hair tips and product reviews, visit monoshair.com.